We got a new goodie for the car. Let's check it out. But first. Oh yeah, that's spicy. All right, so if I'm being completely honest with you, it's not necessarily a new goodie for the car, but it's a new goodie that's going in the car and kind of a goodie for the channel. Something that'll help bring a little bit better footage when we're in the car. I wish it was a new camera, because as most of you know, I'm having a lot of trouble with my GoPro uh, Hero 8, but it is not a new camera, sadly. It's here, and more to come on that, but long story short, that GoPro Hero 8 is the last GoPro product I will buy. And this coming from a guy with a toolbox full of GoPro cameras and accessories over uh, right to my right here. But anyway, moving forward, what did we get today? Let's open it up. Make it different. Get that out of here. Ooh, little quarter inch GoPro adapter piece. That's kind of a hint cleaning cloth. Ah, I guess I'm kind of giving it away. You can tell it's some kind of amount. And there's no directions for me to kind of show you a picture of what it is. So what we have here is a new mount that we're gonna be using to hold a camera in the car. For right now, it'll mostly hold the GoPro, sometimes the phone, and in the near future, whatever action camera I decide to go with or whatever camera I decide to start vlogging with, that's what this is gonna hold. Where this mount goes, if you haven't seen one of these before, is it hooks to the headrest, the headrest posts inside the Challenger. This will come off of that mount, gives you an arm with some flexibility to how you mount it. And then you have this connector here to either put your phone on the end of, or you have this connector here to put your GoPro on it. So essentially this is gonna give me a much better view in the car. It's gonna hold the camera, you know, about here. And depending on which headrest I mount it to, how, which side I have it coming off of, you'll be able to get a little bit of me and a lot of the footage out in front. And if I play my cards right, maybe even a front facing camera and a backwards facing camera. So this is gonna help with the car footage that's hopefully coming in the summer. You know, the bike footage, that's a whole nother story. Um, we have a lot more flexibility there with where we can put GoPros. But in the car, I haven't really been comfortable putting GoPros on the outside of the car, especially with the performance of the suction cup when I've used it inside the car. Meh. So this is gonna give me just one more option of where to mount the GoPro inside the car. For right now, for the purpose of this video, we got it unboxed. Let's just get it in the car, get some test footage and see how it goes. Come on. Okay, so we're actually back in the garage and we're gonna do the install in there because I decided it would be easiest to show you by bringing the headrest in. As you can see, I actually went ahead already and installed it because it's super easy, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Basically, there's just three small Allen keys on both sides. It's not necessary to remove your headrest, so if you couldn't remove your headrest, that's okay. What you could do is you would loosen these two Allen screws. Those are the ones that loosen these clamps here. You would loosen them all the way, take that clamp off, slide it over, and you're good to go. I simply loosened mine a little bit and then slid the mount up over the posts. That third Allen screw in the middle, it loosens and tightens the whole clamp to slide side to side within the mount to fit different headrests. Now for my car, 2014 Challenger SRT8, this is actually all the way out. It can't go any wider than that, so I actually didn't even need to clamp those down any tighter. And I didn't clamp the posts down all the way either because I was hunting for the best angle. That's really it, it's that simple. It's like a four millimeter and a two millimeter and you just loosen the four millimeters to get the clamps to come off, slide it up over your headrest posts, tighten them back down, and then just tighten those down when you get it adjusted correctly. As you'll see in a minute from my test ride, right now this is the phone mount that's on there. I ran into some problems with the GoPro, so we switched to the phone halfway through. I actually really like the option of having a phone mount. It's gonna be extremely interesting for me to be able to go live on TikTok and stuff like I do sometimes when I'm driving around with the phone mounted in that position. I'll give you a little bit better look of how everything adjusts now that we're out of the car. This ball mount and this friction mount are all loosened by one thumb screw. You just loosen this thumb screw and this friction mount rotates. This ball mount has full maneuverability and this ball mount, which gets a little stuck, also has full maneuverability. That in a nutshell is how this mount works and it gives you a variety of positions you can mount it in and I really like it. So let's go for a ride and show you some of that footage now. All right, so we're out here in front of this little closed down bakery slash farm stand that's out here near my hometown. Um, we got the Challenger, as you can see. Kind of a busy road and it's a little bit of a windy day, so I apologize for the audio. I left my uh, microphone at home. We got the camera mount installed and I wanted to talk to you guys about it and show it to you real quick. All right, let's open it up. So this is what the mount looks like installed. As you can see, it just mounts behind the headrest like we talked about earlier. And then it has this arm. They call it a three position arm, but honestly, it has way more positions than that. So it has this arm that comes out to kind of center it and uh, mounts the camera there. You could also put the phone mount on it like we talked about before and mount your phone up there instead of the GoPro. So initial reaction, I like it. Not every feature is gonna work with every car. And unfortunately, I'm limited to where I can mount it to. The other mounting holes are up here, down here, and then these ones back here. But if I use any of those holes, I can't get the camera centered 
removed because of how wide the seat is. I can't use the top hole, you know, for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, so I'm stuck just using the side holes. There's also one on this side. Uh, and I like that because I like the idea of bringing the camera out this way, looking towards the driver. I did already go for a real quick test ride and I will show you some of that footage. I'm going to take another one and record it from my phone too. Overall, pretty happy with the mount. I do have some stuff I need to figure out still. Let's review a few things. First of all, this is as wide as it gets. So if you happen to have posts wider than this, it's not going to work. I am going to include the Amazon link in the description down below. Uh, and just so you know, I am not an Amazon affiliate anymore. There's no kickback to me if you purchase this item. I'm just giving you my honest feedback. It's really well built. It feels pretty solid. It is not plastic. It is definitely metal. There's actually no plastic pieces on it other than the, the thumb screw. This is metal. All the hardware is metal. These are some kind of alloy. This is some kind of alloy. This thumb screw is plastic. The GoPro mount is plastic. This isn't even plastic. All of this is some is some kind of alloy. Feels like a really nice unit. What I really like about it, and I'm going to drop my GoPro to show you this. If you loosen this thumb screw here, that actually loosens all of the pivot points. So just loosening that thumb screw loosens that ball there, loosens this friction point in the middle as well as this ball here. So that makes it really easy to get into place and really easy to tighten. Right now, we have the phone hooked up on the mount with the moment wide angle lens bringing you this nice wide angle that you're able to see here. We are going to fire the car up and drive home and let you guys see what it looks like uh, from this point of view with the phone. I'll probably do a video on all the trouble I'm having with the GoPro and why this will be the last GoPro I ever owned. But I do plan on buying an Insta this year and then never looking back. Now, if you're not from New Jersey, you probably don't know what this thing is, but this is a traffic circle. It is a pain in the ass. Where they think it is their way of reducing traffic at major intersections. Traffic circles like this one um, make red lights unnecessary, but Recently in New Jersey, they're eliminating traffic circles and putting red lights back in. There's a Mustang. All right, guys, so as we enter my neighborhood here, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. Overall, I would probably put this mount at a solid eight, eight and a half out of 10 for what it does, angle of the car and everything. So as I mentioned before, I am gonna have a link to this mount in the description down below. So if you're interested in it, feel free, check it out. A little bit more expensive than some of the other mounts or some of the other ways to mount a camera in the car, I guess. Worth it to me, and I'll be honest with you though, I had an Amazon gift card from a credit, um, so I ended up paying like $10. As always, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time out of your busy day to check out my YouTube video. If you got anything from it, if you enjoyed the video, if you like the cars, you like the bikes, you like the bus, please consider subscribing. It costs you absolutely nothing. It means the world to me. If you could, smash that like button, comment down below, and tell me what you thought of the video. If you disliked the video, hit the dislike button and tell me what I can do better. I am always looking for ways to get better. I apologize for not making eye contact with you guys at the end of this video. I just figured it would be cool to wrap it up as we drive. So with that, guys, I am out of here, and I will see you.